Hey guys, it's Marvelous Beats. Today I'm going to be doing a little beat breakdown of the last beat I posted called Roses of Life, which is a little skies type beat. Um, in this video, just to kind of show people, I guess, a little bit about how I make my beats and hopefully give some tips and advice to anybody who's looking to get into production or is just looking to add something to their repertoire. Okay, so this beat I made inspired by Little Skies. So this is the full beat here on my FL. Um, so I always start with my melody. I have two main melodies and then also two counter melodies. But actually, the main melody is just layered twice with two different sounds. And then I have the counter melody, which is the same, which is also just layered. So I started off with a melody, and I actually laid out these keys for it. So these are the chords I laid down for the main melody. I used my little trick I do since I don't know music theory that well. I just set out ghost notes and I use the little scale function right here. You can see I laid down some basic chords and then I just kind of created a little melody off it. I even got notes up here. Play this basic melody first. Yeah, so that's the melody I made, and then just because it was killing my CPU, I exported it in Edison it with this second sound here. So it's the same exact melody, it's just a different uh, keys, I guess. Yeah, so that was the second layer of the melody, and as you can see, like my CPU is going crazy. So I exported it again, and I did that via Edison. So I just recorded it into Edison and then exported it to the playlist. And then once I had those two melodies down, and then you can kind of hear what they sound like layered on top of each other in the intro here. Yeah, so that's pretty much the main melody, and then I went in and made a counter melody just to kind of break up the track and give it some uh, a different sound. You don't want it to be too plain throughout the whole thing. You don't want just one melody, so the counter melody kind of adds a little bit to it. Yeah, so it's pretty simple, but uh, it definitely does add to it. And I stay within scale as well, so it all sounds good. And then this is the other little counter melody I made. So with the two of them together, it sounds like this. Okay, so now I'm going to actually show you just on the scale what this pattern looks like so there we go this is just the counter melody super simple super straightforward but it does fit within the scale of the main melody and it does add it just add a little flavor to the beat and I'm gonna play them together just so you can see how they layer on top of each other Yeah, and then so with the counter melodies and the main melodies, this is what it sounds like. Now that I have all of the melodies out of the way, I move on to my drums. I just have a straightforward clap, nothing crazy. Yeah, so after I do the clap, I went into my hi-hats. For the intro, I have a different pattern for my hi-hats. Uh, here. I just made this little pattern here. Yeah, so I kind of just played around with the velocities, added some rolls. I like to add a couple different hi-hat patterns just to give it a little bounce. And then I also introduced that hi-hat pattern uh, in the verse as well. Just so it kind of can switch up the flow, the rapper can kind of work with that. 
And then after that pattern, I made this hi-hat pattern. So this one's just kind of picks up the pace a little bit. And this is where I introduce this into the hook when the beat drops and also later on in the verse. Yeah, so I just added a few rolls here and there. Um, nothing too crazy. I also add, I like to add the little hi-hats at the bottom here just to kind of give it a little bounce. And then, yeah, so that's the second hi-hat pattern. Um, so then I moved on to my snares. And again, the snares are super simple. It's just kind of fillers with the claps. So if you go into my snare pattern, So for my kick, again, I left it pretty open, nothing too crazy. Make sure my velocities are up just so the kick hits nice and hard. Uh, and I'll play that with the rest of the drums as well. Yeah, it's the same kick pattern for the 808s, I except as you can see, I'll show you the pattern. Yeah, nothing crazy. I actually just kind of went with the uh, the same uh, bass notes from the chords, just so that I can stay consistent. I'm sure, the velocities are nice and high, so it hits hard. After I had the 808, um, I just added a little open hat just for filler. So I like to add the open hats, yeah, like I said, just to fill in the drums. So I'm going to play what it sounds like with all the drums together. So I'll start with the little hi-hat intro, and then I'll play everything else. Yeah, so that's the drums, and then other than that, I pretty much just added some cymbals, a riser here. Uh, I got my tag, and that's about it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little beat breakdown. Just trying to bring something new to the channel, something different. I'm going to be doing some how-to videos in the future, in the next week or so. I'll have some videos, and I'm looking to do some, maybe some beat challenges as well gonna get my camera set up and everything so I will be in the next video and I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope this helps some people oh so I hope you guys have a great day uh, like comment and subscribe it means a lot leave some feedback of what I should do next and what I could improve on I appreciate all the support uh, yeah I hope you guys have a great day and thanks a lot peace Called it marvelous.